And Caltrans owns 120 vacant homes like the one here behind me along the 710 corridor where keeping them empty doesn't come cheap. In fact, if we pan that way, you can see they have security patrolling the homes 24-7 and it comes at a very steep price tag. On this stretch of Sheffield in El Sereno, you'll see no trespassing signs and tons of security. But it's not residents they're guarding, it's empty homes, all owned by Caltrans. And Fox 11 has learned it comes at a price tag in the millions, $13 million in six months alone. You heard right. I think it's a ridiculous amount of money. Fearing reprisals, Caltrans tenants on the street didn't want to be identified, but had similar reactions. They could use that money to help fix up these homes. Were you doing repairs? Not surprised at all. They're wasteful. They tell us CHP officers started showing up back in November after squatters protesting high housing costs and homeless rates moved families into the vacant homes. An officer told us at the time. Yeah, obviously we're here for state property purposes vandalism, anything like that. After Fox 11 started asking back in December how much the CHP details were costing, Intercon private security guards took over much of the security. Month after month, we pushed for the numbers. But despite promise after promise, we'd get it in a week. Only when they heard from our lawyers did they finally release the data. And it's eye-popping. Five months of private security from Intercon has cost taxpayers more than $4 million. The CHP numbers are more than double, just shy of $9 million between November and April. All told, more than $13 million, guarding 120 vacant homes along the 710 corridor. Without question, they are quite exorbitant. LA City Councilman Kevin DeLeon understands the need for security, pointing out many of the homes are uninhabitable and have become beacons for drug dealers and thieves, but believes the money could have been better spent and the homes put to better use. He'd like the city to buy them. What we can do in turn is turn those homes around and provide them for Angelinos, for first time buyers, for young couples, uh, individuals who are experiencing homelessness. Uh, for renters. In a statement the agency wrote in part, Caltrans intent for purchasing these homes 60 years ago was to connect the 710 freeway to the 210 freeway in Pasadena. Now that the project is no longer moving forward, our goal is to sell these homes and provide current and former tenants, as well as those who qualify for the affordable sales program, a path to first time home ownership. Now, during the story, we saw three security guards pass by in their vehicles. Caltrans says that they have reduced the number of security guards from a peak of 30 to 17, and they now only have four CHP officers patrolling the area. Live in El Torino, I'm Christy Fajardo. Let's send it back to you.